Hi, I'm Rick Noss, and welcome to Crime Watch. Welcome back. Tonight, as ever, we need your help. Flockswitch, a fairly quiet little place on the edge of Warsaw, where nothing much happens. And that's the way the people like it. However, last month, something changed to put a stop to all that. And that's where we need your help. Frank F. Chocolate, you know it well. I love it. However, Frank F. Harrison Chocolate is made at the Frank F. Harrison Chocolate Factory in Blockswich, Warsaw. That's right, the scene of the crime, the heinous crime that the police, with your help, want to solve this evening. It was a Monday, a fairly ordinary Monday, Monday evening, 10 o'clock. Dominic Rogers, a very well-respected security guard, that night was on his rounds at Frank F. Harrison Chocolate Factory. Sorry to say, but that was the last round that he took. Poor Dominic Rogers was shot dead at the factory. Yes, the police need your help tonight. And I have with me tonight the police. Detective Chief Inspector Nick Fellens. Nick. Nick? Nick. All right, Nick. Rick. Nick. Nick. No, Rick. Rick. Nick. 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 Rick. Nick. Nick. Nick Fellens. Rick. Rick Noss. Now, it's very important that you get across to the people tonight how much they can help you. Oh, we, we, we don't often need your help. We, we ain't got a clue, to be honest. Uh, well, yes, obviously the police have a number of interesting lines that they are pursuing. Uh, however, they need your help tonight in some specific areas. Rick. Nick. Rick. Rick. Nick. Nick. Rick. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, this is a particularly heinous crime, wouldn't you say so? Oh, a really heinous crime, oh. How heinous? Oh, let's put it this way, in this part of uh, Blocko, which is like a really nice leafy suburb of Birmingham, um, we are used to this kind of thing. It's I w would I be right in saying, therefore, Detective Chief, in Chief Inspector Felons, that this is an extremely heinous crime? Oh, unbelievably heinous. Unbelievably heinous? Oh, absolutely heinous. Well, in terms of the heinosity of this crime, you'll see the heinosity spectrum index in front of you here. Now, how far would you go along be to, to, to between 1 and 100 on the heinous... Oh, oh, absolutely right up to the edge there. Oh, around about 100. Oh, definitely right over there. 100 over there, right, that's, yeah. that, that's very heinous. Very, very heinous. Now, Nick, you do actually have a clue, don't you? Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, we got a clue, huh? Yes, you do have a clue. We do have a clue. <laughs> right, well, the clue I think that, uh, that you're here to discuss with us this evening, Rick... Nick. Nick. Rick. ..is... Im Nick. Rick. Rick. Nick. ..is in relation to the security camera footage uh, uh, around about the time, unfortunately, that Dominic Rogers was shot dead. So you do actually have some 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 first clue, which is from a video footage of some kind. Well, yes, we're very fortunate that we've got um, some security camera video footage, and he shoots it down the corridor right where he performs the really heinous crime. The really heinous crime. The really, really heinous crime. Uh, let's just take a look at some of this footage now. All oh, right, well, you'll be able to see that it's a great camera angle because it's got him a treat coming down the corridor and it's actually got him performing the murder. 
the heinous, heinous murder. But am I right in thinking, uh, Inspector Felons, that there is actually a bit of a problem with the, f the height of the camera angle? Oh, well, the height of the camera means that we can't really gauge exactly how tall he is, but there's one bigger problem than that. What's that, Inspector Felons? Well, the problem is he's got a hood on you, of course, he's face. Oh, indeed. So this, this does cause a problem so far, but we do have a sense of build and height, and so, well, to a certain extent of height. Well, we've got a rough idea of. Thank you, Inspector Felons. Welcome back. So, Rick. Nick. Uh, Rick, Nick. Nick. Rick, Nick. Detective Chief Inspector Nick Felons. Now, I understand that you've got some further video footage, is that correct? Um, oh, yo, yes, you're quite correct. We have, in fact, we are very fortunate that we've got some video evidence of the felon actually keying the numbers into the side of the safe. Now, that is the digital input safe security system. Uh, I, I don't know, but it's, it's got like keypad on the side of the safe, yeah? Yes, okay. And um, you say, um, did, he, did he have uh, gloves on? Uh, yes, he, di he did have gloves on, but that, that's where we had a little bit of good fortune because we think he was disturbed. Disturbed? Uh, not, not mentally disturbed, but like we think somebody was outside. Oh, for goodness sake, so uh, th th what was the result of this disturbance? Well, in the rush to get the safe closed, he pushed the door on the, on the keypad without his glove on. Well, that's a bit of luck, isn't it? Oh, oh certainly a piece of very good fortune for us. So, obviously, we have the fingerprints. We do. We have the fingerprints. Excellent. Well done. Now, Detective Chief Inspector Nick Felons, um, there, this heinous killer actually wasn't as clever as he might think. Isn't that right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, r that's right. Because... In actual fact, when he opened the safe, he couldn't resist the fact that there was a Frank F. Harrison chocolate bar in there, their latest creation. Goodness me, what, what another lucky break. Presumably he ate it. Oh, yeah. Well, he started to eat it, but this is the lucky break. We think he was disturbed, not mentally disturbed like, but disturbed because he dropped it in a bit of a panic. He dropped the chocolate bar. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he did. He dropped the chocolate bar. Now, now um, why is that important? Well, because he'd started to eat it, we can, in fact, get some DNA. DNA? And what does that stand for, Inspector Fellow? Oh, um, don't, don't know anything? Yes, indeed. That's exactly what it means in relation to this investigation. Um, can you tell me, um, uh, also, presumably, we can, we can do something with the bite marks? Yeah, we might be able to match them against the felon's teeth that would, because, you know, we want to solve this really heinous. It's, 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 a, it's a heinous crime requiring heinous solving by Detective Chief Inspector Felons. Nick. Rick. Nick. Nick. Rick. Rick. Nick. Nick. Rick. D Detective Chief Inspector Nick Felons. Um, yes, the killer, it would appear, has not been as clever as he thought he was, or she, on a number of occasions. Uh, what's the last occasion that we've got here that helps us, possibly? Uh, oh, 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 yes. Um, when he was, we think, looking through his wallet, um, he took it out of his pocket and a letter actually dropped out of his pocket. A letter? A letter. Indeed. Well, well, what's important about a letter, Detective Chief Inspector Nick Felons? Well, well it hadn't got his name and address on it, like, but... <laughs> that would have been very handy, that would it not? It would have been really helpful, that would, wouldn't it, yeah. But now, but we think that we can analyse the handwriting with a, a, an expert. Really? Yeah, and we think that might help us as well. Now, what about the ink? Uh, oh, oh, and this, it, we think it's a very unusual ink, so we might actually uh, tail him down that way. Well, that's excellent, Inspector. Well done. So, Nick. Rick. Nick. Nick. Um, it's very, very important that we catch this criminal uh, in Blockswitch Limor, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes, all very, very important. 
and I'd like to thank you for coming on to Crime Watch this evening to help us with your inquiries. Oh, well, th actually, that is a very, very big thank you to um, Crime Watch FFH because um, we really need your help. He really needs help. Yeah.